Okay, there's no way one of you isn't a girl. That's kind of I had no idea about anything involving periods or anything like that. So. <laughs> Bro, make it make sense. One in a million, a million to one villain. Too hot to be in the kitchen. I'll end up melting the ceiling. I am a girl. 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 So I'm Claire, I'm from Huntington Beach, and I'm 24. I'm Hania, I'm 26, and I'm from Inglewood. I'm Sang, um, I'm 23, and I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm Mia, I'm 19, and I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm Celeste, I'm 19, and I'm from Culver City, California. I'm Casey, I'm 18, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Yo, yo, oh, oh cell, God, oh, God, I messed up. But y'all, look, check me out. If this dude sound like a girl, bro, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> if this man sound like a girl, I'm gonna die, bro. Uh, maybe it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's a trans person. I don't know, let's see. I messed up, y'all. And I'm... Um, I'm Celeste and I'm Washington. I recently moved here. California. My name is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. I am from Washington. I recently moved here for work. But... Yo, this dude, yo, yo, either dude is uh used to be a girl, you know, or dude is like uh, a voice actress or something, like actor or something, like very good at voices. Yo, what are they doing, bro? <laughs> yeah. For the most part, my technique coming in with it is like a more masculine take on it because if I was too girly, then it would be too obvious. What's everyone wearing? I'm in some sambas, black jeans, and like a light greenish top okay. from okay. Zara. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I'm wearing right, Levi's, I'm speeding this up. Um, a like bodysuit, and then dunks, and a little cardigan too. I'm wearing like a purple skirt, like a white off the shoulder top kind of. Let's go like, what's everyone's shoe size? Ooh, <laughs> I'm a size 10. 10? Yeah, 10 in women's. How tall are you? 5'10". Oh, Ooh, okay. yeah, so that makes sense. I'm a short girly, I'm 4'11 without these heels on. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, on a good day, I'm 5'4 though. I'm wearing size 7.5, I think it's pretty mm -hmm. average yeah. for girls, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like 5'3". I'm a size like 5. I'm 6 foot, and I have a shoe size of 9, so. I like how we all just started sharing our height. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I wonder what's the biggest foot that's ever been on a female. like. How big can a female foot get? I'm really curious about that. You know, they say size matters, and what does that mean on a woman? <laughs> can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's like your biggest insecurity? Oh, good question. Hard hitting. I was suspicious of Hania at first, just because she seemed to be asking a lot of the questions. Yeah, talk about emotions, you know, because women love to talk about their emotions, yo. Let's get it out. That's the, how you figure out who the mole is. And having a lot, a large role in the discussion. I got a big old forehead. <laughs> I'm coming for everyone with a regular forehead because y'all sound like y'all got regular forehead. Like I'm getting regular forehead energy here. Laughing was a big thing for me. They were laughing a ton and I was trying to, I was trying to like, it just didn't work out. So yeah, I was trying my best. I think the biggest thing for me is acne. I have it on my face and my back and it's pretty bad, especially when I don't want to go to the beach. So it can be pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have another question. What's your like usual go-to style? For me, not, I think I would say like an urban, like comfy style. I'm not super fancy as a person. So um, yeah. Yo, dude is killing it. Feeling it is murdered. <laughs> bro, let me find this guy, man. Yo, this should be, yo, this man wrong for this, boy. They, they wrong for this. I don't even know how they pull this one off, man. I have no fucking idea how they pull this one off. Crazy. Yeah, it's urban comfy. Whatever's yeah. currently in style, I try to stick to that. Yeah, but that's how part. I feel too. I mean, I try to keep mine just like timeless, wearing timeless like pieces that yeah. like mm -hmm. keep it timeless. Very practical. I'm wearing a tank top right now, so <laughs> it works out. What did you guys want to be oh, when, like, so you, you were a little girl? Okay, like, I really wanted so you can lie, right? Well, he might have a tank top under or whatever the case may be, but like, are they allowed to lie in these? Are they allowed to like false, like falsely represent themselves or they can just say whatever they need to say? I mean, I, I was curious about that. I, I mean, they should be able to, but it does make it a little harder. I wanted to be a veterinarian. Same. I actually. really loved animals. I still love animals. I was a horse girl. I can relate to that. I'm actually, I have horses back in Washington. So, <gasps> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. One I of them's that. name is Scooby Doo. It's Scooby Doo. Uh, yeah. I love He's that. adorable. <laughs> I assembled like a speech for certain questions, but there were certain questions that were just completely off what they were like off the page, like the horses thing. I just jumped in as soon as I could. I'm like, yeah, I have horses. I don't have horses. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. For me, I've always been. Dude, lying. He's, he's just going straight for the lies. Like, yo. But, um, you know, this, this is funny though. This is. Hilarious. Be like a singer, songwriter. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Can you sing? So I'm assuming you can sing. Yeah, I do. I write my own songs and I like release them. Oh, okay, so we're, we're gonna be like your first fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show us after. Yeah, for support. sure. That'd be awesome. Casey's voice is kind of high, so it, it did make me a little suspect. I'm like, she kind of sounds like a princess from a Disney movie, and that doesn't just 
happened. I wanted to be an obstetrician gynecologist. Oh, okay. and, and then I got to UCLA and took chemistry. Uh, I don't think they're really trying to learn based on the responses. I think all of them are trying to figure out about the voice. I mean, that would be the natural inclination. You're trying to figure out like who voice is not really their voice. That's the best indication you can find. I think a lot of these be those circumstances because you can't see. And most of, I think it's like 70, no, it's like 35% of like how we communicate is like through body language or something in that sense. Like, your voice is like only five to ten percent of like what people hear you say, uh, but like the tone of your voice and your body language matters mostly than what you're actually saying. And I was like, oh, we gonna switch that around to something else. Were you <laughs> yeah, I was like biochem. I was like, oh, absolutely not. I'm a stand-up comedian now, though. I don't, that's completely different than where we started. It was almost like when you know somebody's lying because they explain too much. That's what it was like. Okay, she she planned this script out pretty well. So maybe she just liked to talk. You know what I'm so did you guys go to school, like college or anything? Yeah, I went to UCI. Okay. Oh, okay. I graduated from like a small little school in Boston. Um, it's called LaSalle, but it's not really well known. But yeah, so I was over there for four years and then this is like my first full year of being back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get back to the video. Yeah, well, while you at it, like and subscribe for this video as well. If you like them, don't just watch. Oh, 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 we don't trust each other. Okay. Okay. This is... We will just move on to round two with all of you. I'm really I just... Okay. Oh, go ahead. What was you guys' first period like? I was just gonna ask oh, Okay, perfect. Yeah, we gotta get down to the nitty gritty so, now. For me, I knew what was going on because I read like the American Girl doll books and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah, for me. He can lie. Bro, anybody who got enough cutty back in the day can tell you how that's like. You know what I'm saying? They talk. He can lie. So if he can lie, he gonna, he gonna, this ain't gonna get it. Let me, let me see. What would be the best way to figure out who was the girl? You got the voice down. He lying, the story. You can't touch him, apparently. So it's like, gosh. You know what they should say? Everybody try to do their best boy voice. And let's see. It's, it's usually easy to spot when a female tries to do a guy voice, unless she's like him and very good at voices. But that would be a test, at least that I think is willing to try. For me, I w it was over the summer before ninth grade, and I was getting ready to go to track practice, and then just happened. I ain't talking, like, oh, but well, I wouldn't talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was kind of behind everybody else, so I knew it was mm. gonna come soon, so mm -hmm. I was kind of ready for it. I was in the sixth grade bathroom, and I was freaking out, and my friends were outside, so when I got home, I told my mom, and she just like shoved me a pad and said, hey, try to like put this on, <laughs> and then here. She never, I don't know, it's like maybe it's an Asian thing, she just never talked to me about it. I think I was in seventh grade, I'm pretty sure. I was at home, and I like went to the bathroom, and I saw that there was blood, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to call my mom for some reason, so I called my cousin. I was like, I don't know what's going on, like help me. <laughs> and so, yeah. I did. Which was like the funny part. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know. I, and then I eventually told my mom like after her, but yeah. yeah, my cousin was the first one I knew, so. I was in seventh grade math class and it was super awkward. I was basically sitting at my desk. I felt a really weird like sensation below my stomach. And I was really confused because they were talking about interesting stuff in health class before that point. But eventually I just ran to the bathroom because I just didn't feel good. Okay, there's no way one of you was in the girl on the time. I had no idea about anything involving periods or anything like that, so. <laughs> Bro, make it make sense. Oh man, like, I don't know how much, this dude might be lying to us, man. I just went with it. <laughs> Name something really specific that only a girl would get. Like specific, don't just say pad. Um, I have really insane cramps, so I have Midol on me at all times. Okay, that's specific, Midol. Um, mm -hmm. At all times, I have to have it. How do you know your period, like how do you know when your period's coming? I have really, really bad lower back pain, oh, yeah. and I'm like in pain for like two days before, mm -hmm. and I always get the same pimple around my lip area. Oh, same, like, I get right my before my period. Is anyone ever Yeah. Bro, it's, it gotta be a limit to what you want to expose on camera. I mean, some people, we do live in a day and age where people put their food, they take pictures of their food, put it on the internet, they'll show you what they're doing. Some people even take pictures while they're in the shower, bro. There's nothing off limits today, but gosh, we need some more privacy in this world. Irregular? Well, I started birth control and like, oh, yeah. it's really screwed me up. Like I started mm -hmm. the next one on, so that's something another girl might Specific? Yeah. Specific. Has anybody had any like scary experiences that they associate with being a woman? Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Man. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's really disgusting kind of what happens when you're just existing as a woman. One time at a college party, a guy talked to me for like two seconds, and then the next day, I found out that he was telling everyone that I slept with him. What? Oh, yeah. um, you say, uh, is that unique to you being a woman? His lying ass. I hope he never got laid again after that. Yes, as a woman, you're a whore. You say no as a woman, you're a prude. Mm -hmm. If you're somewhere in between, people still find a way to hate you. Yeah. So, so true. True. yeah. So true. I would say like the hypervigilance required to like go places by uh, yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, and the little things we exactly. do that I don't know if everyone knows we do. Like, oh, let me just pretend that I'm playing music in my ears right. and no music yeah. playing. Let me just yeah. Yeah. The let me down on my phone. Like my, my wife does that. She keeps the headphones in. Bro. If you try to talk to her in the store or whatever, she, she's not hearing you, bro.
I like that. <laughs> if you're extremely black, it becomes normal, but it really shouldn't have to be a normal to always yeah. have to feel like mm -hmm. you have to protect yourself like a force right. field. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. No. That's just the way it is, and you gotta accept that. Ain't gonna, I don't know if that's gonna ever change. Dude be trying to get some. Dude want a girlfriend. Dude want a wife one day. You gotta holler somehow. You know what I mean? Stop trying to make it hard for a brother. Now, once you lock down, clink, clink. You know what I'm saying? Put them headphones in. Do you guys know anyone, or like, do you want to share, like, that has experienced sexual assault? Um, I'll, I'll volunteer myself. Yeah, I've came so far to be able to volunteer myself publicly, and I'm proud of myself. I've experienced sexual assault, and I think it does have a very, like, it hawks your, your growth as far as what you feel you should be mentally as a woman. But there's a lot of emotional and spiritual things that you have to do in order to fully evolve to, to even volunteer yourself as tribune to say yeah. that, um... Bro, all you gotta do is listen to these females. They give away enough for him to just fabricate the story as he go along. Acknowledge that. The word survivor also is kind of like iffy for me because I feel like, oh, like, oh, I survived that. Like, you yeah. know, like, it's almost like I'm pitying myself. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. Like, yeah. survivor yeah. and like, I don't even know. Like, it's just weird. It's just hard. Yeah. It's any, any word that feels comfortable to you. Uh, I need to pass one round. That's what I came in here to do today. I'm actually happy that I was the first one to vote it out. So, yeah. Okay, to go a little bit deeper because I need to figure out who the role is. He wasn't talking that much. Uh, he wasn't talking that much at that last round. I think he probably got stuck when it was like, get personal. I don't know why he didn't keep going, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, that's a letdown. That's a disappointment. But, you know, it is what it is. Good job on the ladies. Good job on the ladies for voting him out. How do you guys feel about abortion? Oh. Um, yeah, deep. <laughs> for me, I'm pro-choice. I believe everyone has the decision to do whatever they want with their body. And within pro-choice also exists pro-life if you believe that you are pro-life for yourself. I feel like I would probably be pro-life for myself just because, if, I don't know, God, it's scary to go through some medical procedure. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. If you do want to get an abortion, like you do. Like, it's fine. Like, that's yeah. the whole point of pro-choice, I feel like. And the exactly. government should be the ones deciding. So. Right. Exactly. Who's like a... Every bone in my body wants me to say something right now. Every bone in my body wants me to react and actually... But I'm having a good time, so I'm just not going to go into that. I'm going to leave that where it is. Another day, another time, another fight. Uh, like a good, like, role model that you have, like a woman role model That's in your really life. That's really good. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to be cliche, but I'm going to have to say my mother. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, y'all thinking that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, she... Mamas always get the love, bro. What pops at? Why pops don't get no love? Maybe because, like, so many people grow up without a father. But also, society don't really go out of their way to show love to men like that. You know what I mean? I need to change. It blows my mind. It's, it's, it truly flabbergasts me, the things that moms do, and they make it seem like it's slight work. My go-to person is my dad. Like, he is everything to me, and he has taught me what it is to be an upstanding person in society and to respect everyone, so I just, yeah. Uh. If you want to keep playing because you think the mole is in the box, raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay, I'm suspicious of somebody. Okay, go oh, reason. Lord. Um, Hania? What's up? So you were quiet during the abortion topic, mm -hmm. and I just, like, and, like, you've been kind of really talkative recently, so, like, that kind of, like, red flagged me a little bit. Oh, let me fix that up for you. So, <laughs> um, I also did, I mentioned that I am a survivor of assault, so abortion usually gets me really choked up. I feel like it's my body and it's my choice, so the whole conversation, when I, when I debate about it, it, it does give me a little trigger, so I usually refrain from heavily, like, impactful, like, my opinion of what I My body, my choice is the worst argument for abortion ever. Remember that. That is literally the worst argument. Having an argument about consciousness or when the, the when the fetus actually becomes like uh, can feel pain, all of those are at least better arguments than my body, my choice. You know what I'm saying? Because do you have 20 fingers? Do you have 20 toes? Like I can start going down so many different lines of logic to try to break this down. And even some of the most staunchest pro-choice people that I consider intelligent. And look, I could be wrong about their intelligence, but the, even they'll admit that my body, my choice is a bad argument. That's an emotional argument, in my opinion. I have to say about it. That's but I ain't mad at you, no girl. Yeah. Yeah. Kick me flag. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, Casey, were you the um, songwriter? Yes. Okay. Can I ask you something, Casey? Yes. What is the... the Bro, it's so hard to even be attracted to somebody who you think might destroy your seed or destroy your future. All right, I, I'm gonna leave that where I'm at. The metal U-shaped thing in your bra, do you know what that's called? I don't know what that's called. I do not. The underwire? Yeah, the underwire Oh, the underwire. Bra. I thought you meant something else, because that's like on both cups. What's something that like you wish you didn't experience as a woman or like? I'm gonna go boob sweat. Ooh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so real. Yep. So yeah, real. My stash sweat. <laughs> I'm boob <bruised>, sweat. <laughs> uh. When Hania asked the question about underwire on the bra, I didn't know. All right, yeah, I'm done with this video. They already voted to do it out. Let's see. Do they win the money? 
That's what I care about. Skipping ads. Uh, let's see. Oh, it looked like they won the money. If you get voted out, do you get part of the money? Okay. <gasps> no, no. Honestly, it's, it's a weird experience, what? but no, it's best to be a school. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! That's my movie. I mean, y'all get surprised when y'all voted this man out first. Like, y'all automatically assumed that was the, the guy. Oh my god. And that looks like he was in like. But I mean, I can see why they surprised. Like, damn, dude, good. It's full musical or something, like Camp Rock. So when I opened my eyes and saw Zach Efron, I was like, okay, you got me. Like, I really feel like I've been bamboozled. I do a YouTube channel. And so oh. I used to do like Omegle content and then I like, oh. some gaming stuff. And so yeah, that's what I do for That's sweet. Really Whoa. Cool. Whoa. I am flabbergasted. Wait, no, wait. Did you ask a period question? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's exactly oh. what you're teaching. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Being 6'4. Hey, bro. So I'm like, yo, now that we got this done, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was already out of my element, so I had to like go in there and try to be somebody that I'm not. I was scared coming into this because I didn't want to fall into stereotypes. Because I know I don't want people to stereotype me. I don't want. Bro, the whole thing is stereotypes. <laughs> it's all like, do you fit within a stereotype of what we think women go to or what women have? You know, what what is the typical woman and how can we relate on that? Like, you know, that's all y'all had to go about was stereotypes. But I get where she's coming from though. Like. It kind of like part of this job do feel a little dirty because sometimes it's like most of this is like stereotype. But on the flip side, sometimes you could think like this is breaking down those stereotypes and trying to reveal something which I believe is deeper that everybody's different and it's okay. Like no one wants that. No one wants to be assumed. I was thinking about just busting out different voices. Like, oh my god, you have no idea. No. So, oh, you got accent yeah. too? Oh no, I got you because like I'll do an Australian, but I also do like a. It's it's quite weird. Man, freaking <laughs> nature. All right, yo, I did that. I did that. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I had a good time watching that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, so. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. If you would like to get access to exclusive content, consider becoming a member or a patron at patreon.com slash the Hobby Lobby. You can also continue the conversation by joining the Hobby Lobby Discord. You can find all the links in the description below.